All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new It's Freaking Story Time with the Boys, episode number six. We have Jake the Snake, probably our youngest. How would I put it? My one of my friends' first kids, right? Old, you're the old. My one of my friends' oldest kids. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It would be you, McKenna, and then Logan. Logan. So, and that's how I know Jake. We've discussed this in this video with Matt. Bill used to bring him up here, and he'd be chopping at the bit to go snowmobiling. And you guys all remember Dominic? <laughs> hey guys. Um, I have a few good stories, I think, that with me and Jake. I don't know if they're all snowmobiling. Off the top of my head, the first thing, I, the one I think about is, I don't know if you remember the night me and you were four-wheeling from the hayloft. <laughs> and it was like raining and we were, we were kind of racing down the road. Get pelted with rain pellets. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, we were pushing... What was your four-wheeler you had? I think it was a Sportsman 500 at the time. Yeah, we were, push, we were pushing that pretty hard. Yeah, it was making some weird noises that day. Um, one of my favorite stories for you is with your dad when you when you were king, king shit and you pushed his dad down in the snow. And I'm going to insert that video here where old Billy... Moved pretty quick in that snow and got his old boy. Attacking me. Scissor him up. I was laughing. You got that on video? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. in one of the videos that's on the tube right now. Oh, I just got to figure out which one it is. That's when, that's when Billy blew off the trail and I had to go drive the snow out of the woods. <laughs> the guy comes off the tra comes around the corner on the on the road and goes, you know the trail's that way, right? <laughs> yeah. Pulls over and I'm up on the guardrail. <laughs> Yeah, I just happened to be recording Dominic coming out, and then I think Mike walked in front of the camera, and when he walked in front of the camera, you walked up to your dad and went, <laughs> and you fell down, but Bill got up and was like a freaking lynx. Double leg me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Fun times. He was moving pretty fast through that. Three feet of snow. <laughs> and in the snow gear. With a helmet. <laughs> freaking with a modular on. Fast as F. <laughs> used to be a fucking uh, lineman on a football team in high school, taking you down. Then I'm going to choke you out. <laughs> All right, Jake, you ready to get after it? Let's get it. So when you're not snowmobiling, what are your hobbies? Oh, man. Um, just like being outdoors. I uh, spend a lot of time on the water. Um, I don't personally have a boat or a jet ski uh, anymore, but... Just like, kind of yeah, right. <laughs> Save some money that way. Um, it's like being outdoors on the water, hanging out with friends and family, and you know, like spending time in Redfield in the summer when we can get up here and fishing and kayaking and all that fun stuff. So it's pretty much uh, just being outdoors. So very nice. How many years have you been snowmobiling for? Do you have it added up? I don't have it added up, but it's been. Probably since 08, and I'm not good at math, so that's about 12, 13 years. I've had my snowmobile when I was four or five years old. Yeah. Riding, right. riding passenger, yeah, riding passenger but riding by myself, it's been probably 12, 13 years. You used to do the urban warfare right? up and down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Cops be knocking on the door. <laughs> so, you always rode with your dad. What was your first snowmobile that you owned? My parents gifted me with a 2006 550X. That was my very first sled that I had. Um, the first one that I bought personally was my 2016 600X. Um, I rode that for about three and a half, se three seasons. Um, and now that's the sled that Logan rides. Todd bought it off me uh, beginning of last season. Yeah, beginning of last season. Um, so, it's, uh, the 2016 was a lot of fun. I, ca I had came off a 2006 Rev 600X at the time. Um, so it was a big, big adjustment, big change, newer suspension, newer riding style. Um, definitely can tell the difference in performance from the 600 SDI to the 600 E-Tech motor. Um, fuel and oil consumption, not that that matters when you're out there having fun, but you definitely notice the difference. So, that leads into how often you upgraded and why had you upgraded? So it was, 
I'm gonna try to do every two to three years generally. Um, I had upgraded from the 16 to the 19. Um, my dad had spring ordered his 21. Um, cut me a good deal. Left some left some extras on there for me. Um, Stole it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just kind of when I can, I guess. You know, there's no there's no hurry to upgrade, especially with the way that the winters have been starting the last two or three years. Um, you know, you keep, once it starts getting up there in miles, you kind of try to start looking at something new just to keep it fresh and not have to worry about uh, things going wrong. New technology. So we'll see what the spring brings this year. <laughs> it's like spring out there today. 50 degrees of rain. It's New Year's Eve, guys. We're in the Purple Palace doing this video. We're pretty excited about that. But it's raining. Terrible. Wish we were outside. The mud bucket. Sun's trying to come out, though, it looks like, a little bit. I can't see anything with this light. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite mods to do? Why? Um, I came out of the... Uh, I came into the sport a little late while everybody was hot and heavy on the cans and pipes and B-Force reeds like I previously explained in other videos, but I do like the sound of a pipe. I My 16 had it on there. I had a couple brush ups with the law and I decided to get rid of it, get rid of the pipe that I had on there just because it, I got lucky without getting tickets written and I just felt my luck was running out. <laughs> so um, I do like the sound of the pipes. I don't really notice a performance difference when I do it. Uh, when I put a can on there, um, but mostly it's just comfortability stuff um, and cosmetics. Um, my 16 had Skidoo made a LED um, handguard thing, so when you're coming down the coming down the trail at night, it looks like the handguard's black, solid black, and all you see is an LED light. Um, kind of just cosmetic look. It looks cool. Um, doesn't really add any any light to the trail to help you get down the trail and see where you're going. It's just more or less looks cool coming down the trail. People can see you probably. People, yeah, you stand out like a sore thumb. People can see you're coming down the trail, especially at night. Um, so I think one of the biggest things I liked on my 16 was it had studs on it. It had like 96 studs. Um, I just noticed a handling difference um, coming down the trail in certain conditions. And the sled would ride on rails. It literally felt like you were just pushing it down the down the trail and where you put where you turn your handlebars to go, let's let them go. Um, my 19, I'm still trying to get used to the different riding style, um, but I like big shaper bars, like seven and a half inch shaper bar, one down the center, just stuff to control and cosmetic stuff, a bag, you know, nothing. You need all the help you can get <laughs> keep to keep it on the trail. trail. Yeah. I mean, studs. You may as well just put a whole car like a three foot car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get sucked off the trail every now and then. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. I think my next slide I'll, I'll do studs again for sure. Just notice a big difference. Just your normal cosmetic stuff, normal size windshield, not your little windbreaker that you have on yours. Gets in my way. Yeah. I feel like they're one of those things. I've never had them, so I don't want them, but once you have them, I bet they're like one of those things that you're like, eh, maybe I should get them again. Yeah. It's the studs, I don't know. What do you think? No. You never had them? No, I don't need them. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, too, that if you customize your sled to your liking, for the person that when you get, go to get rid of it, you're, you're going to lose your ass. You're not yeah. going to get any. Right. You know, you got to find that person who likes what your taste was. Right. And you might make out, and half the time people want to beat you up when they buy your sled anyways. Right. And you lose whatever customizations you did you did on it, so it's kind of a waste. Yeah, waste, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, studs can get pretty expensive. I was like, I was lucky on the sixteen. I didn't have to put studs on. It came with it. I've never rode a sled with studs before, and I was against it. Like you're saying, like you know, you had, you hear horror stories of people not doing the maintenance that they need to do on studs. Like at the end of the season or preseason, you should go down and tighten all your lug nuts on your studs so you don't blow one out or and send it into your heat exchanger and blow your sled up. But, um, yeah, I never had rode a sled before that had studs on it, and it was a different breed when I got on my 16. It was nice. 
You know, my biggest thing against the studs, and always has been, is that they just tear the shit out of everything. Yeah. You your garage floor, your trailer. You should see my, you should see my driveway. Yeah. That, that's just, it's no, I don't, I don't need that. Even with the ice ripper that I have. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Same thing. Them little fine, they they're not even that big. They're like right. razor they blades. They chew yeah. up stuff. Yeah, everywhere is up in the top of my barn, because I have the ice ripper too, and if you give it gas in there, your freaking skags catch. You just sit there and bog sit. out. Wood, <laughs> yeah, big splinters. <laughs> Especially with those shaper bars that most of us run. I know, uh, me and my dad, the shaper bars. You gotta, especially if they're fresh. You know, you need two guys to pull the sled out of the freaking barn because they, they just dig into the concrete. I love the shaper bars, and it's all it's all since my Canada trips where I couldn't keep a sled on the trail. Runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, I want to use your bike harder tool for my skags because I gave my I gave my dad my factory ones this year, and there's still carbide on mine. But it, 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 I think that I could make it last a year if I had that tool. Four or five passes. He did it on like four pairs of carbides he had just laying around the garage, and it it's like they're brand new. <laughs> Turn on the sound. <laughs> so where's the primary area that you like to ride or that you solo build? Um, out of Redfield, I think I've ridden home not by myself. I've, I've ridden double back home, um, which kind of tells into a nice story maybe for later. Dominic, I don't know if you really remember riding out of, riding out of Hilton. Um, double? Double with me when I was probably, I don't know, six, seven years old. Oh, man. Coming off the waterfall. Lot. You rode with me a lot of work. Banging my face on the handlebar, biting a chunk oh, out of my lip. I'm like, I'm never snowmobiling ever again. I'm bleeding all over the side of the trail. <laughs> hey, man. Gotta hang out, right? That's what I, that's, I said after that. I'm like, I, I hate this shit. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Seven years old, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just hanging on. What is that? Well, well, what's your bootleg bridge over by there? Yeah. Out through the creek? I don't even remember. <laughs> that, that, what he's talking about happened uh, in, the, in the apple orchard coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was like a dropped down or something like that. Jumped off something. <laughs> we came, oh, there was a, a ditch. Smash his mouth. Came right off the ditch. Hit the other side of the ditch. Jake was like, BIK! <laughs> Riding in the front at that time. I was yeah. too little. I do remember there. that. <laughs> I remember you were crying. I'm like, oh man. Look, I, I'm like, you're fine. <laughs> <Whatever>. you're <laughs> <laughs> I think that's when, I remember vividly coming down, like it looks like a side of a road, but it was probably a trail. I was too young to even understand what was going on, but um strong had that 05 and on the 05 he had that big like on a four wheel how they had the mud strap yeah, yeah. and i remember what he would he would turn around and hold on to the mud strap like he's some freaking jesse james guy <laughs> looking back at everybody <laughs> i remember that vividly and i was a bunch of snow dust and but yeah primarily out of redfield i you know i've ridden back home double with dominic and my dad um my dad out of warsaw a couple times um, I think you, Dad, you had your old, your fire cat at that time, right? The yeah. one time we came out of Warsaw? I don't think I rode double. I, was, I had the fire cat down there. I took you down there when you were a kid. I was riding in that old SS25. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. We rode double down there, around the camp down there. I remember being too little to even hold the helmet off. My neck would be killing me. Did you ever come to any of my Sloby fests that I had at my house? I think so. Or, no. <clears throat> yeah, a long time. yeah, where I did the fire, I did fires in the backyard, and then we rode from my house. Well, I did one of those. I remember hauling up in front of your house with the uh, the trailer, right? You had the F seven, I think. I had the F seven. Yeah. yeah, we only did a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. we just don't get we don't snow get snow. Yeah, it'd be little, nice to ride warm. home. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you enjoy about solo mealing? A lot of it is the. It's gonna be cliche when I say it, but it's the camaraderie with everybody. It's it's something different every single weekend. You know, we all, I think that's what most of us look for, generally look forward to, generally speaking, but um, the camaraderie is a big one. At least over the last couple of years, that's kind of grown a lot on me, I would say, because we, like right now, we're all, we came up here last night, right? There's no snow. So we're hanging out with each other, just laughing, jokes, you know, having a good old time. Busting chops, yeah. Um, I look forward to that. I really enjoy that because we spent, we've been spending more time at camp and 
you know, just gets you out of town for a weekend and it's pretty much that, but. I always say it's better to lay on the couch up here than it is laying on the couch at Yeah, home. exactly. But I enjoy that. One of my big things, I like in the outdoors. So it's kind of, you know, just like being outside and seeing different scenic views and, you know, not that we have big mountains here, but you can drive or ride to some spots and next thing you know, you're up on this huge ridge and you look over and there's a, a little mountain top, you know, not that it's huge or anything, but just the, the scenic views outdoors with snowmobiling and the cold air, as weird as that sounds, but um, the camaraderie is a big one, especially with friends and family, so. Yeah. It makes me, I was, when I sat in your dad's, you and your dad are a lot like me and my dad, so that kind of resonates with me. I like that. Yeah, for sure. And if he doesn't want to take a ride, I got all my friends to take a ride with. Yeah. But sometimes you don't want to do the big trips no more. He just wants to do 70 miles and go home, eat a nice dinner, take a nice nap. <laughs> yep. Relax. It's kind of starting to rub off on me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, there's no pressure to do anything, you yeah. know? It's just... Well, and that's the difference between having a camp. Well, he's got something to say. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I can tell. Saving it all for uh, story time. <laughs> well, I think that's the difference too between having a camp to go to and having a trailer every weekend. When you have a tra trailer every weekend, you're hard up for the miles, and you just got to go, go, go. I as, think too. Is when we have a camp, we can come and freaking put our feet up Friday, and then ride as hard as we want the next I day. Think a lot of us probably wouldn't do it as often if we were trailer. Coming up, and then you have to stay someplace. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of us would be out. Yeah. Every I was out the first year. I had to freaking crank my skis down in ten degree weather, and my hands are freaking purple. And oh. I'm like, this no, is thanks. not for me. But we're fortunate enough to have a place to go, which is awesome. Yeah. Brings yeah, us I'm, back every year. I give it to the guys. The guys who drive, you know, they hook their trails up, they drive all the way up here, they ride all day long, and then they ride, drive all the way back home. That's crazy. I fall asleep driving, I can't do it. Last year we met some people at, we were at the Hayloft, we met, there's some guys that were up there from Jersey or whatever, and we're like, oh yeah, where's your camp or whatever, and they're like, oh no, we're going back home tonight. We're like, what? <laughs> you rode all day? Crazy. Having yeah. dinner now, and you're going to drive back home six hours, seven hours? <clears throat> it's nuts. Yeah. I like coming up on Fridays, and I don't really put my feet up on Fridays, you know, I <laughs> hold bars up. <laughs> if I'm by myself up here, I put my feet up, but when this freaking jack wagon's here, <laughs> it's a different story. Burn the city down. <laughs> Paint the town. Got to spread the, got to spread the coin around. That's right. Support Picasso of painting the town around. Here. <laughs> you got to support everybody. Support small businesses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Local. Did you bring a favorite picture to share? I got a couple. How many am I allowed to share? You can share whatever you want. Oh, I have a cool picture of Jake. Let me see what I can find here. <laughs> oh, boy. You should have took a picture when his nose and lip was on bloody that, that <laughs> You guys want to see what it looked like? I can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you never seen that picture? Holy cow. Crazy. You can probably hold it up. There you go. There you go, right there. Yep, me and old Jake the Snake. Probably took him to the movies that day. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> there was. I don't have a picture of it because it's on my old phone, but one of my favorite, another one of my favorite times now that I'm thinking about it, it's another video me and you did together. We went and cooked those hot dogs. Trails and hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Using cold by the reservoir. I'm like, yeah, I'm YouTube and I'm a YouTuber now. Was that Sat that there and my balls off. Thing? The Nano. Yeah. Yeah. Nano yeah. box? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Employer box Nano. It was cold that day too. And we finally figured out to put the hot dog right on the flame and they were good hot yeah, dogs. Were. It was just so, the freaking wind was coming straight out of the, out of the reservoir. reservoir. I remember that. I was, I seen that video pop up. And I'm like, what are these songs going on? <laughs> we were all about shout out. Shout out to the Halo. Shout out to the Cheese Factory. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. All right, I got a, I got a couple favorite pictures. You do? You, got them, you already got them pulled up and saved? Yeah, I had to save them off Facebook because they're so deep in my uh, 3,500 photos and the 105 videos I have on here. This is a good one, too. Let's 
sound. I'm going to see him on a video podcast. <laughs> you, can, you can send them to me too so I can put them right in. We don't have to do it now though. Okay. Um, Remind me because once we get into the I'll <laughs> forget later. So, you, you show them right to that right camera. Here. Yep. So this is a photo of me and Logan. Why do you have to talk so loud? Oh, uh, right? I'm he's, yeah. finally, he's finally talking loud. Don't stop. <laughs> um, that's my buddy there. My little buddy. Um, so he's... That was probably when... I don't even know. He was probably... When was he born? 03? How far apart are you guys? Far. When, when was he born? 03. Oh, 03. So he was 7 in this picture. Um, no way. He don't look 7. Anyways. Um, and you were probably 14. Yeah. Seven years apart. Seven years, eight years. Uh, where is I going with this? So he started, you know, he was introduced to riding at a very young age, kind of like I was. Um, we'd get to camp on Friday night. The kid couldn't wait to get on a freaking snowmobile and uh, pull the sled out of the barn. And I'm like, it's freaking cold out here. There's tons of snow. I said, let's go. Let's jump on and go play in the field or whatever. And that's like, Young and now he's now I fight to keep up with him on the trail. <laughs> so um, at least he admitted it. Hey, <laughs> I, I told I think I told um I told Mike when we were at the uh, exempt club the other night we were talking about snowmobiling or whatever, <clears throat> and he's like, "How's Logan doing?" I go, "He's doing good." And Ty was like, "Yeah, he's riding, you know, riding this and that, blah blah." blah. I go, Mike, let me put it to you this way. I go, I lost him probably 10 times on the trail last year. I can't keep up with him. I don't I don't know what to do. And Todd's lo just looking at me like, really? I go, yeah, Todd. When I give him that nod, that means him and I are going up to the front and we'll see you at camp. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a little ripper now. But this is probably one of my all-time favorite pictures. Um, it's always, it's always something with Jake. He's got these excuses of <laughs> That's on the Redfield Reservoir there. Um, that was one of my f first big years of riding by myself. Um, and I would just go out right before sunset and I'd take a bunch of pictures. Um, just I like the sunset in the background, the, the fresh track of whatever. I don't know if that guy fell through the ice, broke through the ice, but um, probably my favorite picture. So. <laughs> Wait, with the guy on the ice? No, there's no one out there. It's a, you can't see. You can't see. But you can see where the guy's dying. He broke through, you know? Like, you can see, like, the wet. Did you use legs? <laughs> it's probably just slush out there. Yeah. It was early in the season, too. That was December. Actually, probably around this time. Um, New Year's oh, yeah. weekend. It was December. So, show this one to the camera. Oh, yeah. And then go ahead and talk. This is the one of him when he was 15 that you wanted me to. No, I think he was younger than that. He was probably, uh, yeah, probably 13, 14 there. That's when he first started right. That's uh, the 550X. Oh, that jacket was a beauty. <laughs> it was a beauty. <laughs> Finally got used to riding by himself. And uh, thought he looked good with his wet, you know. <laughs> All out in my white gear. Is that the jack that the zipper broke? Oh yeah. yeah. I had his meltdown on the trail. I'll admit it. That was not a meltdown. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But... Are you talking about the time? Okay, so you talking about the time when I rolled and I threw my helmet into the woods and like gloves everywhere? These, these are th these stories are endless. I mean, <laughs> your helmet's got more scuffs. We've lost that more gloves on the, on the trail. Uh, that was on the black 600X. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was trying to keep up with Brittany. <laughs> was he trying to keep up with her, or was he nervous that she was right up his ass? <laughs> I, think, one she, or the I other. think she was right up my ass, yeah. Yeah, he he come in, high side that thing, right in the corner. God. Well, that's right that's on a blind turn. Right 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 <laughs> maybe, yep. maybe he thought she was going to come running over and give him mouth to mouth. <laughs> God. Save me. me! I come around, I, there's a blind turn like this. And I come around and it's just a yard sale. Just stop by where Jake's helmet's flying. And I'm like, here we go. It, it looked like a straight turn coming out of the woods. We were going into the woods. We came out of the field and down and around. Oh, coming coming into the woods. It yeah. looked like a straightaway. So uh, I, like, I stopped at the top of the hill in case there was any yahoos coming behind us because they're going to come around and see Jake's son. Strong screaming at Jake. <laughs> Get your sled out of the middle of the trail. 
I gotta find my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them in the woods somewhere. <laughs> Didn't a couple other guys miss the turn though too? They went this one straight uh, in. Yeah. I don't remember who. There wasn't very good signage coming out of the field, that's for sure. No, and the, the snow glare that day. I, I, like you said, I'm full of excuses. Always something full with Jake. It's always something. Yeah, heavy snow glare. Why are you cold? Oh, my zipper doesn't go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, was, that day was bad, though. That when we were, over, we were just getting on Cold Pepper Road, I think. Right over the, right over the, uh, everyone parks right there. Yeah. And I... I don't know what I was doing. It was cold that day. I was dilly dallying around doing something, but I come up and Key's having a full blown panic attack. I'm like, why is your jacket open? It's like, it won't, the zipper won't work. And, like, and I got five guys trying to figure out a fucking zipper on, the guy, on this thing. I'm like, oh God. It was completely blown out. Those coats, they suck. It was, and it was cold they that day. Worse zippers yeah. than coats. And you pay so much for them. Yeah. What do we I'm sure you got a deal on them. I don't remember. No, I had, that was a brand new coat. What do we do? Did, what do we do? Tape, put tape around them? <laughs> yeah. No, I think I got it up. Oh, you did? I got it closed and I just kept on messing. To it it was that seal, right? The, the seal took, zipper. And then I took the coat. All the waterproof. Yeah. I went and had a brand new zipper yeah. put on the coat. Oh. Yeah. I still have that suit. It's in my closet. Yeah. I, I love that suit. I'll do it anymore. anymore. He just it's displaying it because it's, it's not clean. It's not clean. Probably don't fit in it anymore either. Put a couple pounds on. Well, the jacket you have now is pretty big. Looks like a little mushroom. You got room to grow into that one. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> couple <laughs> more of those. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite loop? Oh, gosh. I have a couple. I like. He said favorite, too. That's tough. That's a tough. That's tough to do. Depends. Like if you want to go north or you want to go south. Like if I'm going south, I like the, um, the day we went to Chelsea's parents' house. That loop we did. Oh, towards oh, Rome, Delta Lake. Right. Delta Lake and Rome. I love when it's when the snow. You know, I love that loop. Love the Gone Coastal loop. You had past Gone Coastal. Go to that loop anyway. It's the same so one, yeah. yeah. So, I like that going down south. Um, going up north. I like Copenhagen when there's snow, um, but I think my favorite would be Branningham, um, which will tail into my favorite place to eat. Um, Go for it. Uh, the pine tree. I love the pine tree's food. Love the atmosphere when you walk in there. I love coming into Branningham. It just it looks uh, when there's snow on the roads, it's nice, which is, most of the time it is. But coming into Branningham is a little dry most of the time. Um, just like that whole loop, that whole area is, reminds me of like a mountain town, kind of, I guess. So, even though there's no mountains up well, there. Well, it's like Old Forge, you're starting to get into that region, yeah, yeah. which is a, just a nice region. Fancy pants area. Yeah, yeah <laughs> fancy for pants. sure. <laughs> it's probably my favorite, my favorite loop. I love Branningham. I go up to Branningham, come right back to camp. I'll be satisfied. 120, 130 miles, depending on which way you go. Sometimes last year. Yeah. It's a fun ride. It's easy to do. Um, you know, they generally have the snow for the most part. So, go back down to Table's Corner to the railroad, bad hundred miles an hour. Hundred miles an hour. Yep. See, that's a fun. We're all like, "Where's Jake?" <laughs> <laughs> He'll be here in a few minutes. <laughs> See the stop sign. All your tickets are in the mail now. <laughs> I like um. One of my favorite trails of all time is probably Moose River Plains when it's nice. Um, we came back that way for the Long Lake trip. Which could probably tail into my favorite story too, um, but were you going fast? Can we moose knuckling on the moose? Moose, moose knuckling, going? big time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a that's a fun trail. It's I think it's twenty something miles, twenty eight miles long, and it's twisty, windy. You run you run next to the Moose River, and then the Moose River disappears, and then it's there again. It's just it's cool. It's a cool trail. So, Do you have a favorite historical site? I like the Boonville Hotel. Got good food there also. That that area, Boonville, is pretty nice too. Um, rustic, you know. It's so funny over there. I was just thinking the day we were having lunch over at the Boonville Hotel, down. some guy comes down with his underwear. <laughs> and his hey, underwear, work. his underwear was like skin color, so like the whole bar literally turned and was like. His, remember his buddy's like, go back upstairs. He's like, where's my toiletry bag? The whole bar is looking at this guy like, and he was. I don't know, 65 years old. 
pretty much butt naked at the yeah. end of the bar. He stained underwear. <laughs> <laughs> he had a fun afternoon. <laughs> yeah, because we it wasn't for, late. We were there for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That was funny. We were doing a. Was that for your birthday that one year? Yeah, we were in cars, I think. Were we? Yeah. yeah. So that was your birthday. That was a tour back. A stop. Those can get out of here. <laughs> that was one of stops. Yeah. That day. That was a fun day. Did we go to the wigwam before that, or was that the year after? Because there was no. It must have been before COVID, because there was no mass or anything at the time. Yeah, it was before COVID. For sure, before. Yeah. We, we, had, we definitely went to the milk plant. Yeah, you we were playing the air guitar in there. I was rocking here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had people were, I had a fan base by the time I was done. And it wasn't us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Chelsea was real, real happy with me. <laughs> Fun times. Bought sweatshirts. No, the next year when we did the tour, that's when we started at Fulton Brewery. Yep, yep. Wait, yeah, we started at Fulton Brewery, then we went to White Lake Inn. Yeah. Right, and then, Wigwam. then we went Wigwam. Wigwam. Then we I've, went never been, I've never been to the Wigwam. Then we went to that awesome little place. Port Hotel. Yep. That little hole in the wall that was in there. Nice we stopped in there for one drink and seven. That reminded me of the Redfield Hotel back in the day. Yeah. Same, like pulling up to it, you know. And the inside obviously wasn't laid out the same way, but pulling up to it. Oh, I mean the fact that there was no parking lot. That yeah, <laughs> no parking lot and the big we like the pillar out front. We would drive down the trail. We drive yeah, down Jay the trail takes us. Nice Jay's place. like, I know how to get us out of here. We're driving down some dirt road. I'm like, all right, man. Next thing you know, pop nice. out on the main road. <laughs> I remember coming over the top of that hill and it felt like we got a little airborne. He was yes. goosing going down the road. We all had our heads on the ceiling. He's a good driver. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Bates. Kind of like my driving today. Yeah. That was a little, uh... Would you like to go around the block? Yeah. He wanted to see the, the cattle. Oh, was, it, was it out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, you went down the trail. Wow. Did you go all the way up to Cedar okay. Pine that way? No, no, we. Uh, I went down to. I went down to her farm. I went down to her farm and t turned around and come back and then came back down, down 47. Pass cedar pine. Oh, you went all the way up and around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's got a nice setup over there. Mm -hmm. That yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, big long hair and big, big horns. Yeah. Can you imagine carrying a hut home like you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carry it's it. too cute, man. Yeah, Just put it, prop it up in the back seat, look it up to yeah. the window. <laughs> a, couple of them were, a couple of things were sitting right, like, right, right, on the road, yeah. right by the road. Uh, <laughs> but slow down and look at them. They look at us like, what the F you want? I took my family there, by there on the four wheelers for, during my birthday party that, that morning, and none of them were out, so I didn't get to show them any. But I think even the females have horns on them, too. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking them um, up when we got back to camp today. Yeah, every one of them, yeah. There's a nice black one up there. Really the nice. horns are cool. The, they were like grayish, silver, black tips. Really cool. We're talking about um, their Highland... Hi, Highland... Uh, Swedish Highland cattle or something. I think they're Highland Scottish yeah, cattle. Yeah, Scottish cattle. But, as we digress... <laughs> yeah. When you bring a new person to Stonebilling, where do you like to take them? Kind of the day in the life of us. I haven't had to do that yet, but I haven't had your buddy to come Sparville with you to come Stoneville one time. Yeah, but he's been up here before oh. with his family. Um, Who Nick? Yeah. Yeah, Nick. Um, Forgot his name for a minute. <laughs> just tell him saddle up. You know, put your gear on, dress warm, follow the pack. They'll have a good time. They come up. It's their first time coming up. Hypothetically, you know, um, between the camaraderie and. Everything else, they'll, they'll have a good time out there. So, biggest thing I would emphasize is probably dress warm, bring layers. If you know, can always put more layers on and take layers off. So, <laughs> right. That's, Strap your boots because you don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get Short into. Short trip, long trip. <clears throat> Especially with Dominic in the pack. Yeah, you never know. 
That's alright, Joel. I like to keep it interesting. We should jump the roads, though. I can't because they put the stupid propane tank in my way. I can move that. Let's <laughs> move it. I'm not going to cut the tree down. Let's, let's brush this. I should cut the tree down. That's the way we do things around here. Like, I can't jump over the street because there's something in the way, so we're going to cut the freaking tree right down. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could find an old video. There's got to be something. something. Is you, you still have the him jumping the hen house on uh, YouTube? Ooh, How, you know, no, I was trying to find that. I can find that. So long ago. It's long ago. If I find it, we're going to let the people I do watch. I have Mike jumping the road. Yeah. The video on it? If you YouTube jump the hen house, you get some, you find some weird stuff. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. You ready, Jake? I'm ready. It's freaking story time. Dom, I'll let you. Start. I'll let Dom start too. Yeah. Usually, I like to. I usually like to tell a little story about you know. One of my favorite stories, but I had mentioned the, the reservoir. Me and Jake might have spun out a couple weeks ago in my car. <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> no, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. But Dom here has yeah. spent more time with Jake than... Well, I mean, one of my favorites, though, we, we already talked about was the uh, flipping this sled up on its side, the high side in the middle of the trail. And, you know... Of course, it wasn't his fault. It's never his fault. Like whatever happens, like it's all like it's Just always something. Like dealt it. shitty cards, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like a perfect example, we're, we're riding over to uh, where were we going? Ro over Route Eleven there, Eleven North. 11 we North. went over there for lunch. Oh God! You know. You ride over, there's a lot of railroad tracks you got to cross when you're snowmobiling. You know, it's just the nature of the beast. That was horrible. Jake, of course. Everybody goes Poop, right over the railroad tracks. Here comes Jake. He hits it a little awkward, and he, his carbide literally. So now, of course, he's freaking out. He's yelling. And I'm like, here we go. No. <laughs> End of the world. Although, I thought it was hilarious because I was riding behind him, and it literally was shooting snow right into his helmet while he was <laughs> Still had that ski and car It was impressive. I mean, that thing was. I was up. I was up on the side. Yeah. That's what it felt like, at least. I, I don't know. I had it on GoPro too, on footage. But the snow just smacking you in the face while you're riding. We can leave that part out. <laughs> good, luck, good luck editing that out. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was pretty crappy. Yeah. And it hurt. I'm trying to find a picture of that car, but I have it somewhere. Show the people. That's the what best else? one you got, Dom? What's that? That's the best one you got? No, I got lots of stories. Mm -hmm. But... When we, when we did my birthday party at the Tailwater, and everybody went to bed except for Jake, and I was like, Hey, Jake, you want to go down to the Elmar Hotel? He's like, yeah, I'll go with you. So we go down there, me and him have a couple cocktails. He's got his cowboy boots on. We're walking down the street. Now, mind you, it's like, Two o'clock in the morning. Are not a soul to be seen. Here's these two idiots walking down the middle of the street. He's got his cowboy boots on. It's all you hear. <laughs> and he probably took about three times the amount of steps that I took because he was like this side of the street, that side of the street. and it's all you hear is clink, 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 going down the street. I'm like, dude, walk in a straight line. <laughs> oh my god, we were laughing so hard. <laughs> that was a fun walk back too. Oh, it was it's like, ah, it's not that cold. I need a jacket. No. I'm freezing my ass. <laughs> How far is that? That's probably like half a mile. Good, yeah, that's a good distance. Yeah, a mile. It looked like it was like right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, know. I, bet you it's, I bet you it's almost a mile. There's that carbide. Jesus. Oh, yeah. I See? remember that. Did a real number on that thing. Yeah, that, uh, that was rough. The one thing that I got to say, though... <clears throat> You know the whole what goes around comes around type thing? Well, it never really came around for me because I really don't get stuck. <laughs> but Jake, I pulled that kid out of more snow banks than I know what to do with through the, through the years. I don't know why my back hurts. But <laughs> now we've passed it on to Logan. <laughs> Let Logan know. Uh... Yeah, I pretty much, I've smashed Jake's head off of, a, off of the uh, handlebars on a snowmobile. 
I probably put them off the trail a couple two three times. <laughs> At least a handful of times I've been put off the trail. But I've turned him into the man that he is now. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about when you got that strap for them to hang on to for your kids oh, to hang yeah. on to. <laughs> Ten years old, you must have <laughs> the strongest freaking forearms in the yeah. world. That's <laughs> hanging on. That was a good invention. Poor McKenna. I still got that. I yeah. still got that. Yeah, that was a good invention. We used sure. it. Didn't the twenty? Uh, I think Ben. Yeah, I think Jackson. Jackson or one of them. One of them. Yeah, Joe it. had it on. It works. I mean, especially for the kid that like can't get his. They're not big yeah. enough to get their arms around you. Yeah. They're gonna hold on to it. Yeah. When we get bumped, they're gonna. Well, See, that's yeah. every person that rides with me. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have a sense of security. They're actually physically holding on to something. Yeah. Right. Hold on tight. Oh, well, what kind of story do you got? Yeah, what do you got, Jake? I'm interested. I think the biggest one I have, um, I remember probably the first time I ever rode by myself on the 550X. Um, me, my dad, and my sister came up here and got up here. We're driving up here. It's snowing decently, steadily, you know, nothing too crazy. And we were in a winter weather advisory or warning of some sort saying we'll have feet by morning. And I looked at my dad, so what the heck does that mean? Never seen snow like that before, you know? <laughs> he goes, I guess we'll wait and see. You know, I think we were on February break at the time in school. So we wake up, we're like, yeah, we're gonna do a short little ride, probably, you know, 50, 60, 70 miles, just something to get used to the machine. We wake up, go outside, you can't see the sleds. The sleds are buried in snow. <laughs> I th there's a picture somewhere. Um, of that I could probably send it to you you can insert it maybe at the end or something I don't know um, and we're riding to West Leiden we we're trying to get to get to the milk plant for lunch and we're coming across these fields the wind's blowing so hard can't even see the I can't even see the front of my sled let alone my dad who's right in front of me with my sister on the back holding on for dear life <laughs> she was freaking out all nervous and scared and that's when I was, she was crying. We she was know, crying. We got the gas station, it was snowing so hard. She, she was literally crying in the back of the I said, I got to turn around. Yeah. We started heading back, and he's, he wasn't really, didn't really know how the trail system worked with the stakes going across the field. It was snowing so hard, you couldn't see the stakes. So he's like kind of drifting off. I'm trying to keep him in line. I'm, and I'm yelling at him through my helmet because he's like, this close from going off the trail. <laughs> and the snow is deep. Like, Dude, you got to follow these lines. You got to, you got to follow these poles. The last thing you do at the time we got back, you guys were just coming up. We this was a Thursday yeah, that oh. that happened, and I didn't really know the trails too well. And I, you know, what's West Lighting? Thirty-five miles from here. <laughs> so, but I remember walking in with the kids. McKenna's crying. He's all white-faced. <laughs> you guys are all showing up and like, oh, let's go, let's go for a ride, let's go. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere. I think that night too, um, Jay and uh, Jay, Todd, and I think you had went out. You guys went north. I don't, I, I don't know, maybe that's was It was snowing. It was snowing hard that day. And that overnight too. <laughs> so much snow. It's coming down good. One of the very first times I rode by myself, I just headed out towards um, Camp 2 or, or the old railroad bed. And I wasn't confident in myself at all. Right. And it was snowing so hard, I couldn't even see the tips of my skis. I'm like, ah, I'm turning around and going back home. I, it was like, I did 15 miles and I was like, yeah, yeah I did it yeah. by myself right. <laughs> in a snowstorm. I remember one of the first times, too, that I was starting to learn a trail after, after Jay had sold his and started his family and all that. And I'm like, oh, I love riding. I gotta. Shoot, I thought of going around up to Cedar Pine and back around. <laughs> was a big trip. I remember getting to the end of Potter Road and I, I, I only needed to go another hundred yards to, to get the, the tee. And I didn't, I looking down there, I didn't know where I was. I'm like, I turned right back around, went back the way I came. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got a ton of good stories. It's just, <clears throat> a lot of it's a, a camaraderie, I guess. Um, the, the ball breaking and see how fast you can get on each other's nerves type of thing, especially Dominic and I sometimes like to push push each other's buttons a little bit. Quick smack in the face, you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's the tight, it's the stories that you have. There's side stories. There's yeah. stories with everybody, and that's the, that's the camaraderie part of it. Like the Long Lake trip last year was a lot of fun. Um, it's cliche because it's recent, but um, we stayed up. Me, me, Tim, and and Logan stayed up all night 
felt like all night. Um, you know, a couple, couple cocktails in the mix for me and Tim, and down at, just down there hanging out, playing music, and having a good old time. And then you wake up the next morning, and you're like, why the heck did you do that? You gotta be on your sled at 7.30. It's negative 11 out. Not sure that you'll be able to keep your helmet on your head. Not sure, yeah. You're not sure <laughs> if you're gonna huh? be, uh... <laughs> you just don't buckle it. Yeah. I remember sitting in Cedar Pines one time, and I think it was you and Strong, maybe. Came, came late because they had a rough night, and both your modulars were up the whole way down. Freaking, I needed a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a, I don't know, I got a lot of stories, but I think my my favorite one was was that you know just getting into the sport. Um, which will tail in. There's something yeah, I'll never forget. Your dad said to me it was like after that weekend we rode down south. I don't remember where. It was like a quick little thirty mile ride. But I was I was getting frustrated because I wasn't confident in myself riding. You know, because you're you're new to it. You don't know what you're doing. Right. You're trying to keep up with everybody, but you don't want to keep up with everybody because you'll end up coming around a turn and hit a water hole, and then you hold it wide open and cross the water hole, and you go this way, your sled goes that way into the woods. Do you remember that <laughs> down in Osceola? That's not happening here. Um, <laughs> you liar. <laughs> um, your dad said to me, coming across the field, it was an open field. There was, there was nothing obstructing. There was nothing at all. Everyone took off, and I'm like, yeah, 30 miles an hour, here we go. You know, down the trail. He goes, uh, sometimes you just got to close your eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> and, I so yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something like, don't try to keep up with them assholes. No, he said, <laughs> sometimes you got to close your eyes and, ho and hope for the best. I'm like, okay. So, here we are. Still hoping for the best. <laughs> but, I, I remember, I, I don't know, I felt like I was the, uh, maybe, maybe it's, uh, I never had any kids, I'm not a dad, but I, I have some dad-like instincts. I remember I, when he first started riding, I was always yelling at him. Dude, stay on the right side of the trail. What are you doing? I'm always like, I don't know. I just safety obviously is very important when you're up here. Right. You know, you well, hear that's, about. That's the thing too. You, you beat it in. You beat it into people. You know, they're learning. Well, I beat that into them. I can remember with him and with Logan too. We're they don't get, him, unless get him to the far right, and we'll stagger on the side of him so we get whacked before they get whacked. Right. If, if yeah. that's the case, you know. I don't. And that's just caring about somebody that you've been well, known yeah. for your whole life, you know. That's the one thing. Like without everybody we ride with, man, it's something. I mean, we've had some close calls. I remember I was right behind Jason when he hit that head-on collision down in yeah, Camden. I was, I was right there too. Holy cow! I see that happen. I almost threw up in my helmet for another reason. That was ugly. Yeah, that's. Banged up leg is all he got out of that. That's crazy. Um, my kid was all banged up. In his jeans and freaking. Yeah. Jay jumped off, right? Yeah, he bailed. Sneakers. He the, bailed. Yeah, the reaction is crazy. Yeah. You know, think about how fast your mind works in a situation like that. Thank God. But, uh, I don't know, was it you? It was either you or Logan. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. I remember screaming at. I had to teach them water hole etiquette. Because <laughs> one, it was one of you two, and I was behind <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> and they go into the water hole, full throttle, and just, I'm just covered in water and oh mud. Yeah. Man, we got to that next there, so I, I don't know who it was, but I grabbed him by the helmet. <laughs> I'm ready to kill somebody. You're too close to me leave space. <laughs> oh. Strong did it to me. Oh, yeah, God. Strong's the Strong's the king of land based and everybody with snow. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> I got these big paddles. Oh, too close, you get mud in your face. <laughs> yeah. Or big snowballs. Yeah. It's wrapped up in the trail. Yeah. I did. I did get Jake one time though when we pulled over on the side of the, oh. on the trail. Had my mask up. He had his, he had his helmet <laughs> wide open, and I was sitting there in the snowbank, and I just le I looked back, and his helmet was completely <laughs> stuffed with snow. Yeah. Now, I, now I learned my lesson he was from bad. that. You know, it happens one or two times, and you notice when everybody has their machines still shut down, and there's that one asshole <laughs> that looks back at everybody and says, yeah, you ready to go? And he fires his sled up, you know he's coming for you. <laughs> he's going to give it to you. And I, if Jake's behind me and we're on the side of the trail and I turn around and look at him, he goes like this and closes his helmet. <laughs> well, I have. Hey, I've learned if you're going to be behind Strong and he's going over the street, you stay three feet to his left or three feet to his right. So when he goes, 
Yep. The whole snow is going by. Yeah. <laughs> Wipe the whole trailer yeah. out. <laughs> um, that's it, man. I'll we'll leave this open. I want you to shout out or talk about the hot dog roast again. Coming up. Yeah, Are you up. sure you want him to? Do it? He's been yelling the whole time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just kind of look into your camera and... So, the second annual Redfield Trailside Hot Dog Roast is getting closer. It's approaching January 1st. Uh, hot Dog Roast is going down February 12th, Saturday. Right out here in the yard where the trail goes through will be the Hot Dog Roast. Stop out. Support the club, fresh Weigel, meat hot sauce, mac salad, good chow. I'm going to be out there doing a meet and greet. I'm going to try to bring some merch out to sell. Set up a tent for myself too. So we'll be out. We'll all be out there. Fire's going. Hot cocoa. Check out my Facebook. A lot of details around there about that. Uh, it's been posted on Redfield. Just trying to get more friends on your Facebook club uh, <laughs> club thing there. It's details on there, and I'll have all that info in the description below too. We'll be Book face there. there. Yeah. Book face. And now Book you face. open for whatever for the last few seven minutes here. I, I know you got. I know you got more stories, <laughs> Dad. What do you got? It's not about me, man. I know you got stories though. About me. What was the first thing Jake ever did on a snowmobile you just wanted to wring his neck? Got stuck, probably. <laughs> Got stuck out here in the field. <laughs> Literally. Riding with Logan. Yeah. We're, we were rode all day, busted our balls, tired, come back here tired, now it's cocktail time, and, and him and Logan want to go out and play. We're all half crunked up in here, and they're across the street, and four feet of snow <laughs> buried, come walking in here. Uh, you guys can come and help us. You need it. You got a shovel? I'll show you where the Figure shovel is. <laughs> I'm not going out there. You can always, you can always tell with a look on his face when he walks through the door. Like, especially if you don't hear a snowmobile come back and you just yeah. see him walking up the steps. <laughs> like, where's the sled? He's buried. I don't know what happened. He's buried the sled on the snowbank right there by the road. <laughs> Stuck once or twice. <laughs> Get up there and stop. Wait for the cars to cross. Now and then I what happens? Go to throttle coming out of the bank and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, biggest thing I would say is as a sport develops, um, people just got to learn the etiquette of riding right and, and staying safe. That's the biggest thing. Um, we've all had our fair share of people on our side of the trail. Um, pushing limits that they don't have and don't know how to operate under and can end very bad. So just uh, ride right, stay safe, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Very well said. I'm impressed. No, you're not? <laughs> I thought it was great. But his octave was perfect. He wasn't yeah. screaming at <laughs> it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap. It's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's to you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. We're having a blast doing these. We have Bill in the back. Thank you, Bill, for chiming in. Dom again. I got some stuff for you guys. You just have to wait till we go home. I didn't bring it up with me. And I brought some koozies for them that they already had, but you can never have too many Sloby That's right. koozies. That's right. True. Right? Absolutely. Enough koozies, period. Yeah. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for all your support, and do me that favor. You ready for it? Tell your grandmas, your grandpas, your moms, your dads, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your frenemies, your enemies, all them people about these videos. Share them, like them. Thank you so much for all your support. Love you guys. Peace out. And we'll see you next time. Jay. Thank awesome. you, man. I appreciate it. Dom, I'm sure you'll be in a couple more. <laughs> you're, you're my most highly requested person. You're not even funny. <laughs> Peace. See you. See you. Don't forget the hot dog roast. <laughs> <laughs> Roby, Roby.